Hello, I'm Pierre Desjardins. Sorry not to be among you this year. With COVID, travel has become increasingly difficult, but I had the opportunity to, to record the talk. Thank you very much for attending uh, this talk, leading quantum computing's material breakthrough. We are C12 and we build reliable quantum computer. First, I will share our, our vision, why we need a quantum computing breakthrough uh, to build a large scale quantum computer and what is unique about our approach. Second, I'm expecting to share our first two NISC applications that uh, we are developing. And at last, I will give you a few information about us, our vision. The fundamental challenge of building these incredible machines is that quantum material interact very easily with their environment. Ideally, a quantum bit needs to be in vacuum. There is no defect, doesn't lead to any perturbation of the qubit. And if the qubit is not perturbed, there is no error. Building a large scale and ultra coherent quantum computer needs some material science breakthrough. And there is quite a large consensus in the scientific community about this. Earlier this year, um, uh, it was a, a review article in the Science Magazine this is what they say, scaling to larger quantum system give rise to uh, material challenge that are not evident for single qubit measurements. This material issues needs to be addressed in the coming years. And another quote from a great scientist I admire, Chris Monroe from INQ, to roam up in 10 years, paid on solid state qubits, this is what we do, relies on breakthroughs in material science. At C12, we have selected the most minimal uh, material, carbon nanotube. It's the most minimal electrical wire you can uh, imagine. And they have extraordinary properties that kind of resolve the quantum paradox. Uh, it can make qubits isolated yet uh, addressable. So, we have a, a unique uh, technology to integrate carbon nanotube on a silicon uh, chip. And by uh, making this carbon nanotube uh, suspended, we create a very isolated environment for, for, the, for the qubit. So we have one uh, single electron trap in this uh, carbon nanotube and we manipulate its spin to make a, a spin qubit. So the closest realization of uh, ideal spin in, uh, in, in vacuum, but on a chip. Silicon enable the emergence of uh, classical compute. We think it's time for carbon to do the same for quantum. Now I will detail three uh, main advantage of our technology. Uh, first, uh, a qubit with a very high quality factor. Uh, embedded in a unique uh, solid state uh, architecture and uh, all of this built in a scalable fashion. So a high quality factor, what we mean by the quality factor is the ratio of the coupling strengths over the noise level. So it's an indication of the number of quantum operation that uh, is uh, achievable before reaching the limit of uh, decoherence. We are uh, close to, to 100. Uh, the, the, the best in class, uh, the leaders are uh, at uh, 1000, but we still need to improve this ratio uh, by 10 to 100 to build useful uh, quantum computer. So how we achieve uh, long current time? First, spin. Uh, spin is an intrinsically uh, stable quantum quantity. And we all spin in an ultra pure material. Carbon nanotube can be grown uh, with isotopically purified carbon with less than 0 0.5 nuclear spin uh, per dot. And this eradicates one of the main sources of noise for, for spin qubits, uh, nuclear spin noise. Uh, second, as I mentioned, we suspend uh, our carbon nanotube 
uh, on top of the silicon chip, decoupling the qubits from noise uh, coming from the from the substrate. So like iron, we think that vacuum is uh, the best uh, isolation. We use uh, microwave uh, fields to manipulate and read out the qubits like uh, superconducting qubits. And we can achieve uh, two qubit gates uh, on the order of uh, hundreds of nanoseconds and one qubit gate in the order of uh, hundred tenths of, uh, of uh, nanoseconds. Now with this uh, very high quality uh, factor qubits, it's embedded in very unique uh, solid state architecture. First, we can offer all-to-all -all connectivity and we are the sole solid state architecture that can offer this, uh, this feature. Our custom microwave resonator is connected to uh, all the qubits, uh, all the carbon nanotube. And so any qubit can be coupled to any qubit at, uh, at any time. And this resonator is 1000 uh, times bigger than uh, our qubits. So we envision to couple at least a dozen of uh, carbon nanotube to, uh, to a single uh, quantum communication uh, cushion bus. And, and this all-to-all -all connectivity would not work if we don't have also the ability to turn off uh, the qubits. So what we can do with our technology is that the coupling between uh, the, the, the qubits and uh, this uh, resonator, so the spin and the, and the resonator, can be exponentially uh, turned off. So actually, we have designed uh, a proprietary on-off uh, gate. And so turned off, the, um, as the spin is uh, put in kind of memory mode. All-to-all -all connectivity is is a necessary ingredient for uh, useful quantum computation. Uh, this cut down quantum algorithm overhead, so no more need for swap gates. And uh, in the longer term is also reduce uh, greatly the number of qubit overhead for quantum error correction. So fidelity and, and quality of the qubits is um, what we think is, is uh, it's a very important feature, but you have also to build this in a way that uh, we'll be able to operate a large scale uh, quantum computer. Uh, <clears throat> and our technology holds great promises uh, for uh, scalable quantum computing. It's a, it's a semiconductor uh, technology. Uh, we also have uh, the possibility to pre-select qubits uh, before integrating them on, on the chip. So it's kind of the ultimate uh, modularity. And last, uh, the, uh, the, 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 we have a high qubit density because uh, our qubit footprint is uh, extremely small. So semiconductor integration is uh, the result of uh, our unique patented uh, nano assembly process. So using this uh, process, we can uh, integrate uh, ultra pure carbon nanotube on, on a chip. And this is, we can do this also in a very uh, scalable way. Uh, and we can integrate uh, like a thousand of uh, carbon nanotube per, per hour. So it's, uh, Then qubit preselection. Any um, uh, individual quantum system uh, faces a, a, a larger viability, and uh, if you you have to solve this uh, this challenge uh, if you want to be a large scale uh, quantum computer, any quantum computer will be faced uh, with this uh, issue. And then if you have this uh, nano assembly process. Uh, combined with the non-invasive uh, machine learning assisted uh, method, it's kind of a unique way to um, pre-select qubits uh, at large scale. And last, our qubit has a very small uh, footprint 
uh, 1,000 times smaller than uh, superconducting uh, qubits. And when, when scaling it, it will make a, a, a huge difference because it would decrease a lot the volume that needs to be cooled off. Like, like superconducting qubits, we are operating uh, at uh, 20 millikelvin, but with carbon nanotube, no need for gigantic uh, deletion fridge that uh, will uh, occupy a, a whole soccer field. So to sum up, uh, carbon nanotube have the potential to process quantum information with high fidelity and, uh, and a large scale. We really like combining best of uh, both worlds. So like superconducting qubits, we are a semiconductor uh, technology. And this is what is great about them, but uh, they are limited by uh, current time. Uh, what is great about uh, ion or atom qubits is that uh, they lie in, in vacuum, uh, enabling uh, high fidelity. But uh, they have fundamental challenge to uh, increase the number of qubits above uh, a couple of uh, hundreds. With uh, spin qubits in carbon nanotube, uh, we, we really have uh, this vacuum feature, but on a, on a chip. Working uh, on the material is, uh, is, is hard, it's is very hard, but uh, it has a, a huge uh, payoff. And I hope I convince you that uh, you just discover the next generation of uh, quantum computer. Now I'm excited to share our first two uh, NISC application. And NISC is, will be the biggest, uh, the largest uh, market segment uh, by, by 2025. What NISC mean? It means um, noisy intermediate scale quantum. So it corresponds to, um, to, to, to machine with a, a limited number of qubits and without error correction. So for, for, for NIST to work, uh, the, the most important feature is uh, the, the, the fidelity. And uh, that's why we think that our approach uh, is really a prime candidate to um, bring some value uh, in the NISC uh, era. Uh, sorry. Okay, now it's time to actually uh, 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 share with you the, the two uh, applications that uh, we, are, we are working on. So the first one is um, quantum chemistry. <clears throat> we have a, a project with Erlichine working on uh, hydrogen conversion. So when you liquefy hydrogen and you store it in a tank, if it's in the natural form, you lose 20% of uh, its volume uh, within uh, 40, 44 hours. So there's a very important step before liquefaction that uh, is uh, the, the conversion of uh, natural hydrogen. And we think that um, <clears throat> we have a solution to uh, identify the, the, the right catalyst uh, for, for this step using uh, our quantum computer. What is interesting is why we choose this uh, application and it's really related to uh, our, the, the long circuit depths that uh, we can offer. Uh, so a link to the high quality factor that I mentioned earlier. And we have a second project uh, building a quantum optimization solver. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, to tackle graph-based uh, combinatorial problem. We are working with uh, Atos and Artelis uh, on, on this and here, the key feature that uh, was interesting was uh, the all-to-all -all, uh, connectivity. Finish my talk with uh, on some information about uh, us and about the, the company. So we are based in, in Paris, in, in France. Uh, our technology is a spin-off of the Ecole Normale Supérieure and has been developed for over 10 years uh, in this uh, uh, is in this university. Uh, in 2020, we funded uh, C12 to supercharge the uh, development of this uh, technology. And uh, it's a quite unique combination of uh, scientific excellence and, uh, and, and business skills. 
and well, as uh, we are a twin browser, also a, a good deal of trust. And the funding team also include renowned uh, spin qubit uh, scientists, uh, so Takis, Mathieu, and, uh, and Jeremy. So we are now a team of 19 people, uh, and, uh, and we are growing fast. Uh, I think in this uh, in, in our sector, uh, talent is, is rare, but uh, talent is the key. So I'm very thrilled to uh, have this um, very senior uh, team uh, bringing huge expertise on carbon nanotubes and uh, quantum computing. Um, here you can um, see the uh, management team, and it's a, it's a, it's a many years of, uh, of uh, experience. Uh, 2022, what's next? Uh, I think it will be an exciting year for, for C12. Um, so first, the release of, a, of an emulator uh, available to Cloud, and um, we will integrate uh, our noise statistics from our qubit measurements uh, to make this emulator as close as possible from uh, the real hardware. And uh, we will also uh, conceive the first hardware demonstrator. Uh, so on this, we continue to work on uh, the purity of the material, uh, improving the, the growth of the carbon nanotube and its uh, integration. We are also like uh, working on uh, the best uh, chip layout for um, more precise uh, control to the, the microwave. And we will integrate our uh, property gates that uh, we develop to operate this, uh, this, uh, this hardware. We have uh, many challenges uh, to, to solve. And uh, if uh, you are interested uh, in uh, what we are doing, if you share our vision, uh, please uh, let us know. We have uh, many positions uh, available. So with our partner and uh, the, the great team of uh, quantum engineer and um, physicists, uh, we will lead the next materials leap in uh, quantum computing. Thank you very much.